We're into the book of Numbers now. Today we'll be reading from Numbers 3, 11 through 13. Vidabir Adonai el Moshe le mor ve ani hine la kach di italvim mitoch bene Israel tachat kol bachor peter rechem mi bene Israel ve hayu li halvim ki li kol bachor be yom hakoti kol bachor be eres mitzrayim hikdashti li kol bachor be Israel me adam ad behema li hiyu. Ani Adonai. And the Lord spoke unto Moses, saying, And I, behold, I have taken the Levites from among the children of Israel, instead of every firstborn that openeth the womb among the children of Israel, and the Levites shall be mine. For all the firstborn are mine. On the day that I smote all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, I hallowed unto me all the firstborn in Israel, both man and beast. Mine shall they be. I am the Lord. Say the new covenant together. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Asher her alanu rachamim ve'yeshua v'natan lanu brit chadasha baruch ata Adonai noten hamashiach. Amen. Blessed are you, O Lord our God, King of the universe, who showed us mercy in Yeshua and gave us a new covenant. Blessed are you, O Lord, giver of the Messiah. Amen. You may be seated. So we started Numbers, and it started out, uh, God was counting the tribes by the names of the sons of Israel, and counting up who would be uh, able to go to war 20 years and older. And then we come to chapter 3, and we get this little section here, and it's talking about the Levites. And it struck me. And it struck me that a couple of questions. One is, um, what was the Lord entitled to? Well, he was entitled to all of Israel. He redeemed every one of them. And he takes the Levites, and he makes this exception, and he sa it's about the firstborn and, and about the judgment that helped usher them out of the land of Egypt and through the Red Sea. And he's talking about how, Le how the Levites are mine, right? And why? On that day I struck because of, the, because of the sanctification to himself by the death of the firstborn. This is a prophetic pointing, uh, pointing ahead to Yeshua. So what, are, what was he entitled to? He was entitled to everything, but yet he only took the Levites as, as, as his specific servants. Now, so the, my title this morning is, um, We Aren't All Levites, But We're All Kohen. So I, so I come to that conclusion by a little medley of verses I'd like to read to you out of the New Testament. So if you'll flip with me to Revelations 1 Verses 5 and 6. It says this. You with me? For Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, if you will, the faithful witness, the firstborn from the dead. So you know there's going to be others, right? There's another resurrection that we've been promised. Amen. Amen the firstborn from the dead, and the ruler over the kings of the earth, to him who loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood, and has made us kings and kohanim to, to his God 
and Father. To him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. 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 And the next verse. 1 Peter 2 and 9 says this. But you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people from his, for his own possession, that you may proclaim the excellencies of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Amen. You see, we're not just priests, but we're ambassadors also for his kingdom. And one more verse. 1 Corinthians 6 and 20. For you were bought at a price. Therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. Amen. Amen. Let's pray. Abba, we thank you for your great love. Lord, we thank you for Yeshua and his redemption, his precious blood poured out to buy us all. Lord, we thank you for, for this ministry that you have given us as your ambassadors, as your priests, to usher, Lord, to, and to bring your kingdom's light to this world, Lord, as you have brought it to each one of our hearts. Lord, we make confession this morning, and we agree with you, Lord, that this day, the Sabbath day is yours, Lord, and that we are too. Amen. Hallelujah.